What's going on everybody? I'm getting ready to start my day with the laser and so we're going to do some cleaning. I'm going to show you how to clean your lens and mirrors to make sure that you are in tip-top performance. So hang on tight. So what I'm using here is I've got some Q-tips. Um, best if you can get something that is lint-free but not a huge deal. If you don't, just make sure you get everything off of the lens and mirrors. Um, and some high concentration isopropyl alcohol. This is like the 99% stuff. Um, the other lower percentages will work, but may not clean as good and leave some residue. Um, you can also use lens wipes, um, and those will work pretty well. But we need to make sure that we get the lens, mirror number three that is at the laser head, two that is in the middle, and then number one that's at the back. And on this machine, there's actually a pass-through mirror, um, and so we're gonna clean that instead of lens number one, because one should be pretty clean by itself. But this is a routine that you wanna make sure that you are doing often. Um, really depends on the usage of your machine, but if you are cleaning every day or every other day, unless you have some really heavy days where your machine is getting tons of use, then you'll want to clean more often. But let's jump in and I will show you exactly what I do. So we'll start off with our mirrors and I'm just using the isopropyl alcohol and this Q-tip. And I'm gonna go ahead and even just put it right there and just kind of pour it into it. Um, you can kind of see it's soaked in there. And I'm gonna go in and quickly, because my machine gets clean often, I'm going side to side. You try and not go in swirls because that can be worse because you're just kind of dragging the same stuff around. Um, and just go side to side and clean the mirror pretty quick. And that should get it. Um, you can take a look at your Q-tip when you pull it out. If it's really bad, you'll see that it's pretty dirty. Um, and that's a good sign that you might need to take a closer look and clean better. But now let's jump over to mirror number two. All right, so here at mirror number two, um, you can kind of see it, but I do have some dirt that is built up there on the mirror. So again, I'm gonna go side to side or top down and just kind of clean that like this. And that should be good enough. There is a little bit of dirt that came off there, um, but it's looking pretty clean now that I got that off. Um, and this kind of dirt, it will take away some of your power. So make sure that you're cleaning often. Um, now we're gonna jump over to the first mirror, which I've got this side panel right here that I will open up and we'll look at it a little bit closer, but it is back there where my pass-through actually is. And so that's what we're gonna clean because that is the open cavity where smoke builds up. All right, and now in here, um, this mirror is kind of down below, so we're gonna go ahead, clean just like that. And I have been using the same Q-tip on all of these. Uh, if your Q-tip gets dirty or dry, I would get a new one and get it um, wet with the isopropyl alcohol again to keep cleaning. And that way you're not just dragging the same dirt around from mirror to mirror. But that's it for our mirrors. That's all I'm gonna to need to clean because that's what is exposed to smoke. All right, and so now to get to the actual lens, I am going to lower the bed down a little bit. So that way I've got some space to work. Uh, we will go ahead and loosen this knob right here. So that way this tube can come down and the lens actually sits inside the middle here. So we're gonna unscrew this and then you can see the lens is right there. I'm gonna do the same thing, grab a Q-tip, get it wet, and go ahead and clean the bottom and the top sides. If you have more dirt than normal, you can go ahead and we'll take that retainer ring out, pull the whole lens out, be gentle with it. Best to use gloves if necessary, um, and then you can clean the whole thing. That way you're not just leaving dirt along the side of that retaining ring. All in all, for how much use this has gotten since the last time it was cleaned, it's looking pretty clean, so we're going to clean it pretty quick with a Q-tip.
And again, I like to go side to side and not in circles to just create issues. And same thing right there. Most of the time your dirt will build up on the bottom of the lens, um, but it is still good to be in the habit of cleaning both sides. So that way you are staying in the tip top performance that you can. Um, one way to make sure that you are putting your lens in the right way, the flat part is what actually faces down towards your material. Um, so if you do take that lens out, make sure that you pay attention to that. And one tip is if you are actually looking into the flat part, it is harder to see your reflection, but you flip it over and you look into the rounded dome part, it almost like shrinks the little image of you um, and you can see your face in there pretty easy. So flat part down, um, if we don't take it out of here, it's pretty easy to put it back the way that it was. And now we'll go ahead and reassemble it. And you want to make sure that these are snug. You don't have to get them so they are impossible to take apart again. Make sure it's snug so it's not bouncing around because that will mess with the cut quality and engrave quality of the laser. And push it back up to your stopper and tighten back down again. There you go. Pretty quick and easy, and this is the routine that I am using on my Hydra 13. And obviously every laser is a little bit different if you have a different brand um, or different laser heads, mirror assemblies, but the idea is the same. You need to make sure that you clean your mirrors and your lens routinely so that way you are getting all the power from your machine that you can. I hope this was helpful and please share, like, and subscribe so that we can see you on the next one.